Hi you guys, this is Emerald episode five. No, six. Yeah, six. Sorry. Yes, yeah, it's Emerald episode six. Okay. Let me hop into the day. Hey, hey, hey. That is Emerald, right? Is it Emerald? Yeah, Emerald. Emma, what's wrong? It's, it's, I hate Papa. I really hate him, Charles. <laughs> I'm sure you don't mean that. Charles didn't know why. But watching Emma cry, it was the pain he had never felt before. He had to do something to comfort her somehow. I'm not sure what happened between you two, but I'm certain he loves you. And I know you're upset with him now, but I know you love him too. How about I walk you to your room? Is that alright? Yeah, yes, <laughs> thank you. Charles, <laughs> mm -mm. a lover, honey. Here you are, trying try to relax him. Thank you, Charles. Please, Emerald, don't cry. Everything will be alright, I promise. Stay here. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. But wh where are you going? Emma was not ready for Charles to leave. She found she found comfort in his presence. Don't worry. I promise I'll, it'll only be a minute. I'll be I'll come right back. All right? <sighs> Charles. Yes, Emma. I just wanted to say thank you for being so kind to me. You're welcome, Emma. I just I just wish things would have happened differently for you tonight. And and I suppose kindness is some wait, kindness comes easily for me. When it comes to people like you. I I don't know why Emerald. But I just know that that you are a good person. A good and truly kind person. I can feel it, you know? But whatever happened, I just want you to know it's going to be okay. I'll make sure of it. I better go kill her daddy or something. <laughs> Emerald could sense that he meant every word. This wasn't just some pitch to play a good guy. He was sincere in every word he spoke. His words helped ease and soothe her to her very core. Now that she was alone and Emerald's thoughts quickly raced back to her. Oh, to Ru Rupert. I can't believe Papa. I was so happy with being married soon. It would be too soon if I ever saw him again. Damn. Just then Emerald thought of her mother and looked down at her necklace. Oh, Mama, why couldn't you be here? You would have understood, wouldn't you? I drew you a hot bath. Why don't you go relax and try to get some sleep, okay? Thank you, Charles. Sounds great. Emerald enjoyed the hot water soothing her tense body. She inhaled the sweet smell of jasmine and vanilla oils. Baby, she was relaxed, honey. She was thankful Charles was here for her, honey. Yes. Give me a Charles. Uh, she still felt weak physically and emotionally. She was certainly much more relaxed than before. And will close her eyes and enjoy the silence under the water until the water began to get cold. What is this? Emma spot something on her bed. A note and some clothing. I should read the note first. Dear Emerald, I hope you feel better soon. P.S. I heard it was going to be rather chilly tonight. Sincerely, Charles. Um, she needs to be marrying Charles. Shit. Emma was now feeling a lot better. And she was grateful to Charles for that. 
there are two sets of pajamas here. How sweet of him. Let's see. Warm white pajamas. This is so soft. Hmm, it smells like vanilla. Let's try the other ones. Oh girl, you like the devil. This is so warm. It smell like what? Cinnamon or something? Rose petals. I like the white ones better, even though it's the exact same shit. And it don't even, I guess it don't matter where she go to sleep in, right? <laughs> We're gonna go to sleep in the white ones, though. Yes. Love these pajamas. Wow, I'm really tired. Time to shut the lights. Oh, wait, time to shut out the lights and get some sleep. Downstairs. What could she have gone to? Zach had searched through the whole guest. Wait, searched through the guest all night in search of Emerald. He could not believe she had just vanished like that. Did I say something wrong? Do I smell bad? Oh, Charles, you start on me. Sorry, sir. What's wrong, sir? I was looking for this woman I was with earlier. Sorry, but most of the guests are already left. Oh, I see. In that case, could you uh, fetch me my coconut man? I would love to, sir, but... But what? It's after sundown. We're locked in for the night. What? I must have lost track of the time. <laughs> I can have Lola show you up uh, to a room if you would like. Uh, I would myself with Miss uh, to Miss Bicky, Bitchy Topanga needs my help cleaning the ballroom. I suppose I have no other uh, alternative. I'll get her right away, sir. After a few minutes. Hello, yeah. Charles said you needed a room. That's yeah. correct. All right, I'll show you to your room yeah. now if yeah. you would like. That would be great. Thank you. Hey, I hope this will be all right, sir. Give me kisses. Yes, it'll do just fine, Lola. You mean thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your night. Okay, come on. Yeah, well, like, I'm not supposed to get any sleep when I can't stop thinking of that girl. That girl I've never seen. Well, I never even asked her name. I'm officially the the world's biggest idiot. I need to sleep this off somehow. I have no pajamas. I should have asked Lola to get some for me before she left. Maybe they store some in the closet somewhere near the servants' quarters. Give me kisses. I guess I want her to find out. Meanwhile, outside. Who the hell outside? These damn uh, dark faders or whatever the hell they call them. Uh, Night crawlers. Oh, Char Charles. Uh, the stars. One day, everyone will be able to enjoy you again. I knew Charles was her damn guardian protector. Goddamn person. Charles had trouble sleeping. He was worried about Emerald. <laughs> He wanted to go to her room many times to see if she was alright, but he stopped himself over and over again. He didn't want to seem too forward, and he really didn't understand why it bothered him so much. Charles, Charles, why are you out here? Hello to you too, Sky. You know you should not be out at night, Charles. The humans will be suspicious if you're true of your true identity. I know it's just... You couldn't sleep. I know, I saw that. Of course you did. So what, you came here just to tell me that? I just I just need a little air, it's all. No, Charles, I came to tell you your uh, light mission. Light soldiers were once light spirits. These light spirits had in some way wronged the light ancestors. Code of peace. Because the light ancestors believe in second chances, he played... He placed the light spirits in the body and cast them into various realms. The light soldiers would uh, wait months, days, or even years to receive a light mission. They complete their uh, mission successfully. If they complete their mission successfully, 
they would have proven themselves worthy once again. Only then are they able to return to the light realm of their original form as a light spirit once again. If not, they are cast to the dark realm for eternity, a slave to the dark ancestor. Okay, so what is it? Save a bunny? Rescue a cat from a tree? Charles, you're going to be a guardian and and guide for the light child. What? You're joking, right? I've waited 20 years for this. You and I both know that it's an impossible mission. You might as well toss me in the darkness now. She's already arrived and in danger near. Wait, in danger is near. You must help her on her quest, Charles. Many lives will depend on you helping her. This is your light mission. Do not fail. Who is it? Who is this light child? I think you already met her. Her? The light child is a girl? You have to be joking. I believe she is the reason you are so inclined to admire the stars tonight. You mean Emerald? She's the light child? Goodbye, Charles. I can't be her. Wait, it can't be her. Sky, don't leave. Wait. I'm back inside. All right, here we are at the servant's hall. I wonder which door it could be. Let's see. Okay, let's see right here. Uh, nope. It's just servant's bathroom. Who? Who the f are you and why the... Uh, wait, why are you... What? I want to go back in there so I see what the hell she's talking about. Storage room. <laughs> There's a shelf labeled sleeper over there. There they are. Here they are. Now I can sleep comfortably. I should have went back in Lola's room so she could say, Who the fuck are you, bitch? And why the fuck is your motherfucking ass up to my shit? That's all, that almost wasn't worth it. Just then, Zach uh, hears something click upon the door. He bends over to pick it up. It's okay. Hmm, must have fallen through these, from these pajamas. Back in fact, the pockets had discovered a hole. It seemed it did, in fact, came from these pants. Wonder who it belongs to or what it opens. Hmm. Zach's exhaustion took over his curious mind. Wow, it's late. I must really get some sleep. And that's that, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it.